Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, my kids absolutely love chicken tinga, so we made it. But we did a chicken tinga grilled cheese burrito. If you guys want to see this concoction, here we go. Let's get started on that chicken tinga grilled cheese burrito. And to do that, we got to start with the chicken tinga. In a crock pot, we have a large onion, three chicken breasts, Cuban, bay leaf and salt, garlic, oregano, chipotle's and adobo, olive oil, tomato sauce, crushed tomatoes, Put your lid on, turn it on high for four to six hours. Alrighty, five hours later, our chicken is ready to pull. I took it out about the five hour mark and just let it cool down. Obviously chicken is extremely hot once it's been in the crock pot all day. And of course you want it to retain those juices. We're simply just gonna shred it up in chunks. We've already got our sauce blended. Alrighty, we have our chicken pulled. Everything is looking good. I was thinking the idea is the idea of like leftovers. You know, everybody says that beans, chili, soups and stuff is better the next day. So we have our sauce here, it's been blended up. I don't wanna douse it too much. I just want this chicken when it rests overnight to absorb some of this flavor. And that's what we're gonna do. So kind of like, just like a quick little sauce. I want to save some of that sauce because I have an idea for it tomorrow as well. So just get this chicken incorporated. We're going to plastic wrap it, put it in the refrigerator, and finish the video tomorrow. It is the next day and move right along. We have some rice. We'll put that right into our rice cooker. I told you I'll come up with an idea with that Tinga sauce. Here it is. So I've got about, uh, I'm just looking at the package instructions. Three cup of water or not three cup, three quarter cups water. And then with that Tinga sauce, we're gonna do the same thing. So there is a half cup and there is a quarter cup. So the idea of kind of like making a Mexican style, Spanish style rice, but you got all those flavors, might as well. I'm not gonna reduce all this. So let's say that's uh, two cups worth. We're definitely not gonna need that much, but I am gonna reduce this drastically to get like a really nice, not a paste, but you know, I want it on the burrito. I want it concentrated. I got one already open, but this is a waka. Um, kind of salty, um, but it melts similar to like a cheddar or like a mozzarella. It's got a good melting uh, thing to it. So that's gonna be our exterior to the Tinga grilled cheese burrito. And we're gonna put the quesadilla Mexican style cheese inside of the burrito. Next up, I've got a pepper that needs to be used. Got a jalapeno, a little purple onion, untraditional, but that's what we had. And then we're gonna slice a little avocado. So the vegetables are basically gonna be our fajita style vegetables. I love a burrito, no matter what it is, with some uh, charred vegetables. If I preach it once, I preach it a thousand times. Avocado hand, it's true. I've seen the absolute worst of the worst. I do not keep my hand like this and hit the nut. The nut can roll inside the shell. Completely remove your, oh God. So, well, I wasn't necessarily trying to do it. But you can see how soft that avocado is. And if I'd have hit it harder and you got it in your hand, it went right through the shell, right through the avocado and in your hand. That's why it's called avocado hand. So if you notice instead, my hand's completely off the cutting board, I hit the nut and then there's nothing for the knife to go through. Just a little precaution. Right, I think the sauce is at the point to where we want it. I highly doubt it's gonna to continue to reduce that much more. Just concentrate those flavors. Mm. 
smells amazing. Moving right along, I just got some avocado oil down. Uh, we're gonna cook these vegetables almost like a tender crisp. And then we're just gonna put those in the, the burrito when we need to, but I just wanna get this out of the way. Cause they, the uh, temperature of the griddle is gonna be different when we add that cheese and make that grilled cheese burrito so we don't uh, burn the cheese. You guys know the deal. I thought she was already filming, but uh, just a little shake that on the vegetables, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Alrighty, vegetables are done. Set those off to the side. And our rice is almost done. We're getting this show on the road. And just like that, the rice should look something like this. All that flavor inside, we're gonna fluff it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Same the idea as like a Mexican rice, just trying to mix those flavors, marry those flavors. Oh, that smells good too. Who'd ever think chicken tinga rice. Easy enough. This is that leftover chicken. You guys see we've got that red tint on there. And I am just going to, as the griddle warms up, warm up this chicken. Our sauce has cooled down. You can see what kind of consistency we're working with now. So I'll add just a little bit of that because that's going to add a little bit of flavor. Just a little bit of moisture. Keep that chicken moist. We'll be able to dome it. So as the griddle temperature rises, you'll be able to warm up that chicken. You're not putting the chicken on there like a fajita style or something. I'm not trying to like darken the chicken. No reason why you couldn't add chicken thighs. No reason why you couldn't do this uh, the day of. I just thought it'd be something different. I think chicken tinga tacos are a lot more common. Just trying to think outside the box and make something different. That's what cooking's all about. Alrighty, we have a large tortilla, one of those grande ones. We're just going to warm it up on the griddle. It doesn't take long at all. We're going to build our burrito. Ooh, that's hot. See that tinga sauce, how thick it is? Kind of like all the way around, all, all that goodness. That's a lot of flavor packed in there. Top it off with that quesadilla cheese. as much or as little as you like. Come back in with that chicken. As you can see, this is why I added that tinga sauce to the chicken. It's not just, I wouldn't say dry, but you know, just shredded pulled chicken. It's got a lot of flavor in it. Hit it with some of that rice. Gotta eat with your eyes. Gotta have color somehow. Plus it gets a little extra veggies in you. Because after all, this is a healthy burrito. <laughs> it's actually probably not that bad. I'm going to top off just a little cilantro for me. All right, everything's incorporated. Now let's roll it. So I like to talk about wings. So imagine a V. I'll just call the wings, flaps, whatever you want to do. Don't do it straight. Have the backside a little bit. Come up. Grab your ingredients. Fold your flap. Fold your wings and straight over just like that. So here's the grilled cheese part. So I'm just gonna set the griddle, uh, the burrito right there because that's gonna give us our width. So if you can imagine, it's about the same width as our spatula. So that's gonna be our reference. Did you say what kind of cheese this is? <laughs> Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Thank you. All right, let that cheese brown up just a little bit. Now, you can use this method on a lot of different things, which is one of the reasons why we're doing it today. Um, just like I said, another idea. And just about when all that cheese melts is about a good telltale sign. And once your cheese is set, you can try it over here. See how it's set and it comes up? Need a little persuasion.
when you do this, all that cheese kind of pushes to the edge. Go ahead and give it a couple minutes. So that way that fresh cheese has a chance to brown up just like the original sod. See that right there? That's what you're looking for. When you're done, all the way around, should look something like this. Boy, that looks beautiful. And just like that, you have yourself a fantastic idea. I gotta be honest with you, I might do this instead of a chimichanga for that crispy crust. <laughs> then you can pour your queso over it. Tried this salsa out uh, yesterday. We bought it specifically for this video. It's got a little smoky flavor, not sponsored. Good Lord, just get off that crap. I actually happen to like it. I thought it was very good. And I think since the adobos are in there with that smoky flavor, this complements it very well. Use your own sauce that you wanna use. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the vegetables. Mmm, good, that's good. <laughs> All right. I love how you fist bump me like I had anything to do with making this. <laughs> uh, mm, it's true. All right, so this is the deal. When you bite into it, the cheese, honestly, is a little tough to get through. Like to bite it, it's a little bit tooth filling. But once you get through there, it's a little bit salty. So the flavor comes through and the texture, the texture changes. You got the soft chicken, the soft rice, the soft vegetables, mm. and the cheese. Mm. 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 The burrito mm. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's good. The chicken is fantastic. I agree. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the cheese crust on the outside, but the flavor is for sure there. Give me another bite. <laughs> somehow you can incorporate, if you're not using the salsa, you could actually incorporate a little bit more of that tinga mm. sauce in there somehow, or mm. you can use it that as a dipping sauce or cover it after it's cooked. That's I mean, the way it is. The chicken and the rice and the vegetables is spot on. I'm glad we added the flavor to the rice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. <laughs> I, I mean, like the vegetables. The vegetables have like a little kick. I'm gonna, Maybe corn and black beans. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. The flavor is amazing. Yeah.